<clears throat> Alright, bear with me guys. I will uh, just do some shares quickly. Let everyone know I'm uh, live tonight. It's been a uh, little while. Obviously, the last one I've done, I was uh, out on the bank. So um, I watched it back. Obviously, signal is what it is to be fair, so uh, it's just nice just to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of filming out on the bank, really. And the signal was good enough, so uh, why not? Bear me a sec if anyone is in the room, just uh, quickly banging out these shares into some groups, so uh, I'll let everyone know we're in the room. Get rid of that, gone. Matthew Perry, all right, bud. Charlie Brown, hello, mate. Hope you're well. Evening, Richard, buddy. Mark Hopkins, evening, mate. 22 in the room already. Bloody hell. Everyone cramming it in before the football, are they? Chris B, hello, mate. Tim Rigby, right sharp. Yo, right back at ya. Ross McDaniel, hello, mate. True Carp Review Twitter, evening, buddy. Thanks for joining in. Hoxton's Carp Life, all right, bud. How's the filming going? Still at it? Still giving it a go? Not actually really been catching up with much YouTube stuff lately, watching it myself, because obviously I've been out on the bank a lot, so uh, I'm a bit behind, if I'm honest. Mark Childs, all right, bud. Lewis Maguire, Carp and Adventures, well done on the fish, buddy, get in. Yeah, not having to. Uh, too bad of uh, sessions, really, to be fair, on these work night overnighters. Going a lot better than I, uh, a lot better than I thought, to be fair. Obviously, uh, lost one on the first night, but meant I obviously got my location and my spots and everything right. And that was a good fish. I know it was a good fish. Just everything from the take just told me it was a good fish, and I couldn't really. It took me a while to get it even in, close enough to net it, to be honest, before it, uh, before the hook just pulled out. So bit gutted on that obviously I had a blank the second night but then uh yeah i had a, a flurry of what four fish since not from uh not from that lake though admittedly the one that i lost it from but uh but yeah i've not done not done too bad really to be fair in short sessions just overnight sessions fishing in the dark martin hunter evening mate <clears throat> lip hook carper yep i'm good thanks buddy bit tired today hence why i'm not out on the bank obviously done three nights last week and uh quite a lot of broken sleep had a really busy weekend fish last night and uh had little um little 10 pounder about half 10 and then a massive dustbin dustbin lid of a bream at like gone 12. and then it took me a while to uh get the rod back out and uh get sorted and settle back down for the night and then before you know it you know you're waking up again and stuff like that never really settle i never really sleep properly when i'm out anyway but uh yeah a few broken nights sleep and a busy weekend and um yeah i'm feeling a little bit tired today so yeah the weather's going to be pretty grotty overnight tonight so that's another reason why i haven't gone out just wanted to come home i've got loads of stuff to do around the flat because i haven't really been here um or get me head down early night tonight recharge your batteries obviously speak to you guys on here and then uh yeah get myself back down the lake tomorrow after my dad's because it's looking quite a nice pleasant evening so um i'm hoping for a bit more of the same of what happened last uh last wednesday so yeah that's me at the moment lip hook just uh replenishing the batteries after these works work days to uh lake and then work to late work to late just recharging these batteries mate to be quite honest with you richard edney you've been catching a few i see yep the lake's been really kind to me like i said i lost one on the, my first ever session back down to the lakes i'm currently fishing lost one on my first ever session blank the second night <clears throat> and then uh i had like a what 25 plus common 27 plus beautiful mirror um, 10 pounds stocky as well and a couple of tench that was last wednesday last night i had a uh what I have, another little stocky little stocky mirror and then a breed uh sort of dustbin lid 
that's been a bit of a bream at about gone midnight. So yeah, I've been having a few, which is always encouraging, and it's nice to know that my tactics and my swim choice more than anything is uh, is producing because the lake that I've been having the fish from isn't as easy as the other one, and not as many fish are coming out either. So it's nice to know that I'm doing uh, doing something right at least. All will be, I'm just going to say, all will be revealed as well. Like at the end of uh, end of this month, obviously, all these overnighters, I'm just bulking them together um, and sticking them in Martin's movements, my monthly movements of the where I'm, you know, getting about to and from these lakes. I'm uh, just putting them all together in a little video, a little blog. So you know, monthly there'll be a blog and roundup of all those sessions. And uh, yeah, this one will be out. I don't know, probably by the end of the week, if not the start of next week. I've uh, edited most of it. I've just got um, I've just got Wednesdays last nights, and then obviously tomorrow nights to uh, to edit onto it as well. And then that'll be ready to go. So yeah, I'm looking forward to putting that out. And it's obviously always nice when there's a few fish in there as well. So you get to see those fish that I had on video, and um, and everything else that goes with it. Really, the highs and lows of my work overnighters. Carp Squad UK, oi oi geezer, alright buddy, hope you're well. Shane Doherty, evening mate. Pete's Angling Journey, Milky Two Sugars, please bud. You'll be lucky mate, I very rarely make drinks for anyone. Um, bit stingy. Probably only like my closest angling sort of friends that I ever really make drinks for to be fair. And that's just because they're useless at making them or don't even get their kit out themselves. So you'll be lucky mate. Uh, Ken Skingley, evening fella. Manchester Carper, thoughts on zig bugs? Anyone, anyone in the room? Personally, I'm not a big zig angler myself, so I can't even say I really use zig zig rigs to be quite honest. But I know obviously how devastating they can be, but just a confidence thing really. But then saying that, I never really used to use solid solid bags, and uh, the last six to eight months I use solid bags more and more and more. And uh, yeah, I've started to have, have some fish on them, and uh, yeah, I've had. A number of 20s on them as well so it's quite quite interesting the fact that uh you know if you start using them then the confidence grows it on you know your whole thinking around using different tactics and different methods of fishing so but yeah if there's anyone in the room who has any thoughts on zig bugs feel free to let the manchester carpenter know what your thoughts are dick winter hi buddy hope you're well any of you guys been out fishing lately? What have you been up to? Been out on the bank? What you had? Anything? They're certainly starting to wake up around this neck of the woods anyway, put it that way. Kevin Kelly, good evening, mate. Hope you're well. Yep, yeah, I'm absolutely sound, thank you. I'm at home tonight, chilling, bit of housework, um, sorting out a few bits and pieces. The flat's an absolute tip. So uh, just done a load of hoovering, tidying up, got a, just got a load of clothes on to wash and just, yeah, when you're running back and forth from the lake, um, from work to the lake, work to the lake, this place just got forgotten about really. So, and plus I ain't had a, uh, my shower's just been fixed as well. So I ain't had a shower for like the last week or so. Not me personally, I've had a shower, I've had one at work or a bath, but I'm just saying I've had to mess about with the broken shower and stuff so yes everything's been a bit hectic recently so night off recharge batteries and uh go against excuse me go again tomorrow manchester carper um i don't know if you've been keeping up on my facebook page mate but yeah i've been doing overnight sessions at a local club water so i've been going sort of monday tuesday wednesday after work backwards and forwards to work to the lake work to the lake obviously not tonight but uh my next little session obviously be tomorrow uh tomorrow evening after being around to my dad's got a nice belly full of food it's gonna be quite a nice evening as far as i'm aware on the weather so i'll get straight down the lake again like i did last wednesday i'm hoping to get back in the same spot again where i've had these four fish from fingers crossed and uh yeah maybe nick one or two more along the way richard edney i was out flexing the old rods at the weekend bud good stuff the weather's definitely picking up a bit so uh that's always good did you manage to um catch anything richard lip hook harper carp dog yep he's all right i think he's having a little snooze to be honest i just took him out on a massive walk well over an hour and uh yeah looks by the looks of what he managed to just beat the rain as well which is always good 
So, uh, yeah, he's not caked in mud and crap and whatever else. But, uh, yeah, I think he's snoozing. I think he's waiting for his dinner, but uh, he's going to have to wait for that until after the live stream. So if I can get him out here, he probably won't even come out because he's a lazy git. See? Come here. Come here, you little rascal. Here he is. Come here. What are you doing, Baba? You been snoozing? Hey? Eh? You tired? Uh... Pete's angling journey. I'm the same. The only person I make cock for is my dad, but that's only because I don't. He would beat me. Yeah, well, I don't even make coffee from, like, say, many people, mate, apart from uh, my closest sort of fishing friends, really. And uh, yeah, they're, that's a pretty small circle, so it ain't that. It ain't that bad. But yeah, he's here. You're all right, little man. He's been keeping me warm recently, and the sleeping bag is nice because I can take him back out again now because the weather ain't all that bad, and. Uh, Obviously, the club lake, club lake allows uh, dogs as well, which is always um, always a bonus. But yeah, I've missed taking him out over the last six months because um, my little partner in crime, to be fair, keeps me uh, keeps me occupied on the bank, don't you, mate? Eh? Man's best friend and all that. Liquid snakes love child. Have you any tips on tucking and taping your tackle? I don't know if that's meant to be a funny one, liquid snakes love child, but I ain't got a clue what you're on about, mate. But you feel free if anyone in the room has a clue about whatever he's on about, feel free to answer it. Carby Chris God, how do you, Martin? Is persistent it down here? I can imagine, mate. I think he's on his way down here, hence why I'm indoors tonight and not getting absolutely drenched uh, on an overnighter. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm indoors tonight, chilling out. Get some decent grubs. I've been living off crap really the last last week or so on the sessions. I've been living off crap and have some decent food. Nice early night. I've had a bait delivery, so I've got that to sort out as well. Um, been doing all my chores and uh, watch your football and um, early night. So yeah, that's me done. Carpy Chris Dog, mate. Nice, easy, peaceful night. Matthew Perry, I was out last weekend with my brother, and you can see how I did it over on my YouTube channel, The Watercraft Diaries. Okay, mate, I'll check that out when I can. Like I said, I haven't really caught up on a lot of videos at the moment where I've been uh, out and about doing my, own, um, doing my own bits and pieces. So that's taking a bit of a backseat watching other people's uh, videos and stuff at the moment. But uh, I will certainly try and uh, certainly try and catch up with that for you. Harvey Chris, God, it's raining cats and dogs in Blackpool, yeah. Well, like I say, I think it is on its way, so uh, that's why I'm indoors. As much as I'd love to be out, I'll put it that way. Quarter 21, I had to leave early, family duty fella. Fella that jumped in behind me at 4.30s and a 48. That's just the way, that's just fishing, mate, dick. That's just fishing, mate. You can't do anything about it, to be quite honest. Like I say, family come first. You can only make the most of the time that you're on the bank for. That's just, you know, that's just literally the way it is. You could have went in there and had nothing, but if the fish are there, the fish are there. There's not a lot you can really do about it, to be honest, buddy. I guess just be grateful you caught that 21, to be quite honest with you, because I guess a lot of other people would have loved to have had that as well. So, Carp Chris Dodd, have you tried the boily popper? Is that that little, like, condom-looking thing that you just pop the boilies out with? I've not, if that is that, I've not, I've not used one. I won't use one, and, yeah, I don't. Not really for me, mate, to be honest with you. But not to say that it don't work. But yeah, not for me. Just a conventional uh, catapult kind of guy, personally, to be quite honest with you. Teo, evening, mate. How's the fishing been? Um, don't know if you've been keeping up on my Facebook page, Teo. But yeah, it's been going really well, thanks. Not too bad at all. Managed to uh, get a few fish under my belt. So yeah, not bad at all. All will be revealed in uh, April's Martin's movements. Um, they'll be out sometime within the next week or so. Half completed already. Just got a couple of days worth of uh, little snippets to tidy up. And then obviously get tomorrow's on film, depending on what happens on that overnight. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's, you know, handful of fish in there as well. 
So um, so yeah, all good and a nice start to the uh, nice start to the new set of Martin's movements. I haven't done them in a while, so I've done it's just syndicate in a while. So it's nice to be able to um, put them back together again and keep the work overnight is ticking over on a in video format really. So Richard Edney, anybody seen Junior? I haven't mate, to be honest. He might be out on the bank to be fair. Um he usually is. He's pretty much sleeps out on the bank. But I did put a status out earlier and he commented, but uh yeah, who knows? Graham Dodge Green. Hello mate. Hope you're well buddy. Thanks for coming back to the room. Pete's angling journey. Haven't been fishing for nine months. I'll be over the moon for a five pounder. Well, to be honest, mate, I was more than happy to get those fish under my belt after a long winter. And I think that would be the same for everybody else in the room as well, if I'm honest. You know, it's been a long, dark, cold winter. And uh, any fish, like I said, I was happy with, I was happy with that £25 plus common the other night. And then that obviously little uh, stocky £10 coming along. And that just kind of tipped it off for me. And obviously when I had that other, when I had that mirror right in, right in the morning, I was like literally on cloud nine, absolutely buzzing. But I had, like I say, I had a little 10 pounder again last night, a little mirror, a little stocky mirror. And, you know, that's what I've gone fishing for. I've gone fishing to catch a carp, done the job overnight. Uh, you can't choose, pick or choose which ones pick up your hook bait. That could have been a 20, could have been a 30, but end of the day, it's a carp, it's another one. It keeps my confidence ticking over. It keeps me, you know, motivated to go back again the following day. It keeps me, uh, you know, wanting more and more knowing that I'm doing certain things right and you know I'm getting my tactics spot on and stuff like that so you know and, and uh swim choice and going on you know what I've seen is just you know like playing into my hands at the moment because there's they seem to be the right decisions that I'm making and they're always you know they're always hard when you walk you walk in a lake and you haven't seen anything and stuff like that or you might see the subtlest of signs and you're not 100 percent sure if they are uh if, you know if they are fish or not but everything seems to be really sort of falling into place at the moment which is quite nice for once uh carpy chris dog yes mate that's the ones they are the dogs mate i'm guessing you've got one then carpy chris dog i love to say i've seen them but i've not actually used one i don't think i would actually purchase one either if i'm honest but that's just me like i'm just I'll just stick to what I know and what works really. But uh, like I said, it's not to say that they that they won't work. True Carp Review Twitter. Are you using broke pop ups in Spring Meet? Um, not broke pop up. So I'll go back to the start of when I started moving. I is I went with two hinge stiff rigs, both on match the hatch pop ups. Um, so, so triple N, bait tech triple N pop ups. So they match the hatch, nutty color. And I've got my first bite on them over five spawns of, uh, oily, crushed, crumb, bit of hemp, loads of liquids. So I've got my first bite on that, just neutral color, nutty base color. Um, so yeah, lost my first fish the first night, didn't get anything the second night, and then obviously moved over to the other lake. And then I've had all my four fish, believe it or not, I've had all my four fish on solid bags. So because of one of the lake that I'm fishing at the moment, <clears throat> um, it's got a fair bit of cray infestation in it. I'm having to use plastic on the hook bait. Um, so I'm using the, the uh, slow sinking dumbbells, sort of like the medium size ones. Um, I had the other night I had three on pink. Every single fish come to the pink one. Um, so in a solid bag, that is. And then last night's fish come on a yellow one. So I've had all my fish on plastics, pink and yellow. I wouldn't say they're obviously they're bright, but obviously they're brighter than a bait, you know, a bait style, you know, hook bait, you know, as in a dark hook bait or a nutty bait. So, you know, they are bright to a point, but nothing as in like high vis or quite fluorescent as such, just a pink and a yellow one. Um, so yeah, I have three fish on pink and then uh, on one on yellow, but these were all through the hours of darkness as well. So, you know, I don't know how much that color um, comes into play or where the water was slightly, you know, where the uh, spot that I was fishing is slightly shallower and they've just cruised over the top of it and it's just, with, you know, just within their mouth reach and they've just hoovered it up. Who knows? But 
I don't really, you know, all three boats you have and I come off with one rod. So I can only assume that they were passing over that spot regularly, you know, every couple of hours. So um, I don't really think it's too much to do with, uh, too much to do with colour, more that, that it was just under its nose. And uh, again, that first night when I fished the pop ups on the hinge stiff, again, I just think they were fishing in the area because they were boshing out and I was getting slicks off my, uh, off my sponged out bait as well. So I got a feeling they were in the, um, in the area as well. So I think you could put anything out and probably nick to bite if I'm honest. So, um, so yeah, I've not, like I say, I'm not really using any particular color or bright or dull. I'm just going with kind of what I feel is right. But, um, but yeah, it seems to have worked so far. Anyway, can't really complain. I've had obviously four fish now, so I'm obviously doing something right. The solid bag's just full of micro pellet. And I generally think the good syringe in, the good syringe into the bag of the um, oil is really helping as well. Hot chili oil, baked tech hot chili oil, syringe, jabbed it in the bag, squeezing it in. And uh, yeah, seems to be doing, doing the work for me at the moment. Crap, because thought I've got movements every morning. <laughs> Lee Brown, evening fella. Crap, because Dodd, not, not wrong with stockies, mate. He keeps a blood pump. I believe you, me, mate. When I'm led there and I'm getting absolute one toner out of nowhere, you know, I can't get the flip flops on quick enough. Believe me, like, they're just completely out of the blue. Um, last week's bikes were quite nice because it was, you know, like a do 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 so you get that little like two second head start and then they just rip off so yeah like on end of the day mate as long as there's carp coming across my spot it ain't going to take long for a few more to follow so uh so yeah i'm i'm happy with taking stockies all, all night long true carp review i tend to stick the match the hatch all year round mate so do i to a point if i'm fishing three rods like where these this club waters are two rod water i um i don't I might experiment a little bit, but if I, you know, if I'm fishing a free rod water, then I'll usually have two on match the hatch and then one on a different colour, and I'll just alternate that rod. Like my third rod, pretty much wherever I go, if it's a free rod rule, I always kind of fish something different to what's on the other two, um, and just use it as kind of like a, you know, sort of like a roving rod or a, you know, just a rod where it's going to have something different on it, just to see if there's going to, you know, something happens that's different to the other two so you usually kind of have to have two on a, on a dedicated baited spot normally but uh but yeah i've just had, a, had to get a load of top up on the um, hook bait so i'm running proper low so just had to get a bit of a top up sent through um today uh carp king hello just tuned in have i missed anything no mate not really just general catch up I, ain't, like I, said, I haven't done a proper live one like this in a couple of weeks and uh, yeah, it's just nice to catch up with everyone again um, and just give them everyone a bit of a rundown of what's been happening in my world, really, mate. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. How are you anyway, Chris? You all right, mate? Peace angling journey. My PB is £25.8, but my favourite carp over the court was about £13. It was a beautiful, immaculate common buzzing when I've seen it. Yeah, believe you me, I've had some commons, mate, that are like half the size of some of the other fish that I've caught. And... You know, they're absolutely immaculate, not a scale out of sight, beautiful black backs, golden bellies, you know, perfect little mouths, fins, not even, you know, like they've literally just been taken out of a pond and put in your net. They're literally immaculate. Size doesn't matter, mate. End of day, it's just about like catching carp, getting out there, enjoying yourself, you know, getting out in the fresh air, getting that fresh air through your lungs, appreciating the outdoors, the beautiful sunrises, the gorgeous sunsets, the sound of being woken up by birds. You know, literally everything just, just kind of all just, you know, just happens to me. It all, it all just does something for me, just being outside. Like the other morning when I was playing at 27 pounder, like it was just gone five o'clock and the sunrise just over the back of the trees was just like immaculate. It was beautiful. And it's just kind of like I've missed all of this. Like I've not seen this in so long. And it just felt like it just re energized me again. So, you know, it's just one of them. You don't, size is irrelevant. You're catching carp, you're having a laugh, you're having a good time, you're with your mates or your family or your children or whatever. Literally, like, life's too short to really, you know, care about whether it's £29 or £19. Literally, as long as you're having fun, who cares about what anyone else thinks? Get out there, enjoy yourself, and, uh, 
yeah, that's what it's all about for me, mate. So don't let the uh, PBs or the weight of carp really come into the equation. Just get out there, catch fish, and uh, enjoy it for what it is. Lewis Maguire Carp Adventures, when are you next out and do you ever fish in Surrey? Um, obviously next out tomorrow night after work at my dad, like after work I'm going to see my dad. So yeah, I'll be going out tomorrow, probably getting down the late, relatively late-ish again, 8, 8.30. Hoping to get back in the same spot, and dump a couple of solid bags out again and uh, yeah, see out the evening and see what happens I suppose. Um, I'm trying to arrange a, uh, a social 48 on my syndicate before it ends in May. Just a one last bash down there, really, because, um, yeah, I've not fished it in quite a while now. I'm not renewing my ticket. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of wanting to get, get a 48 hour down there with, uh, my good friend Matt, sort of ASAP. And, uh, you know, have some good food and stuff like that and banter and a couple of ciders and just have a general patch of ink, fish with each other for ages. And I'm, you know, both busy and stuff. So, but um, I've got a few other things, bits and pieces lined up throughout the year. But at the moment, I'm just going to suck up these, uh, you know, work overnight. They say work for me, they fit in, fit in with my work hard balance and, uh, you know, everything else that goes on as well. And obviously the rewards are coming my way as well. So um, I don't ever fish in a Surrey, mate. Not to say that I wouldn't. I'm always up for going here, there and anywhere, if I'm completely honest with you, bud. The popper is, uh, pop is better than the front of the stick. It's, confu it's confused to flying rats. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure probably just the sound of it might even put them off me, if I'm honest. Like, I don't know if there's much sound to it when it does pop, but um, I'm sure that does spook them a little bit, whereas obviously the front of the stick, they're just going out and hitting the water. You know, obviously picked up by the birds again. Carpy Chris Dodd, off to work now. See you later, Martin and everyone. Cheers, Carpy Chris Dodd. Thanks for your input, mate. Junior just mentioned me, he's fishing on the bank and watching the football, lol, the old bank tramp. Yeah, told you he'd be out fishing, didn't I, mate? You never know, it might actually rain a bit and he might actually get a wash as well whilst he's out there, the old bank tramp. So, if he watches this back, then he'll uh, at least see me giving him some jib. Mark Charles, latest Chris, enjoy the latest video, mate. There you go, Chris, bit of feedback for you, buddy. I think it's more about the attraction than the hook bait colour. Yeah, that's the thing, mate. My plastics have been soaking for Jesus Christ, I don't even know years. That the plastic like it's all in one tub. So I've got slow sinking sort of wafting baits and uh bloody phone's going off as well. So I've had yeah, plastic and wafting bait uh wafters and sort of slow sinking baits in one pot. You've got like my, my zig foam and like your your pop up corner and stuff in another one. Get some uh, glug in them. They've been glugging for years. So even like say, even when I'm bringing them back in and I'm smelling the plastic baits, you know they still smell of what they've been glugging in. So uh, massively recommend if you've got any plastic like that, sort them out. Pop ups one, wafters, slow sinkers in the other. Get some sweet, you know, sweet attraction in there. Some sweet glug in there. Let them just take on that, take on that um, glug over time. And uh, yeah, they'll they'll smell delightful. But yeah, I've got a feeling that's what it is, mate. It's just the attraction. Like I say, the hook bait colour. It was in, you know, it was in the depths of darkness, which I very much doubt was, uh, you know, anything to do with it colour-wise. I very much doubt they could see much of it, to be quite honest. But uh, like I say, all the little micro pellets giving off all the oils, breaking down really quickly. The oil that I squirted into the bags, obviously, you know, going to help as well. And like I say, the the everlasting sort of tang on that plastic from that glug probably adds to it so all those little uh all those little wedges definitely will help christian hughes a up mucker all right buddy true car review great reviews on twitter but i've seen a couple of things you put up and i've purchased there you go car true car review bit of feedback for you buddy as well doing your thing on twitter Lip hook Carper, what do you think of the new Steve Neville alarms? Um, don't know, mate, I've not seen them. And to be honest, I've never really liked the, Steve, the Neville's anyway. I know a couple of people that use them, but they're not for me, personally. But yeah, I've not actually seen them, mate, to be honest. So uh, I can't pass judgment on them. Anybody else in the room seen the Steve Neville alarms? Anything you've, uh, you've seen? Do you like them, not like them, used them before? I don't know, never used them myself. Carp King, all good mate, cheers. Good man, good man. When's your next uh, session, Carp King? Um, haven't seen 
anything from you recently? When are you uh, when are you due out? Da -da 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 -da. Scroll down a little bit. Matthew Frampton, evening mate, hope you're well. Thanks for joining in the room, mate. Half seven already. Everybody, anyone watching the footy tonight? What do you reckon the score is going to be? That's what I'm going to do. Bang, bang my dinner on. Football on. Chill out. Finish off my odd jobs. Sort out what I need to sort out for me overnight or tomorrow. And then uh, get me head down for an early night, hopefully. This, uh, I'll tell you what, this sort of work to the lake, work to the lake, work to the lake, is, it, it seems pretty easy in my head, like it shouldn't, but I'll tell you what, it is, it is a drainer, to be fair, especially, like I say, when you're getting broken night like, sleep, it really does catch up with you, but, um, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Christian Hughes, Steve Nevs have always been great alarms, mate, you can get the ATT receiver to use in conjunction with the Steve Nevs. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. Just don't like the look of them. I don't think. I've got ATTs myself with the receiver, and they're they're perfect little alarms. I can't pull them to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Just Neville have never really um never really interested in me to be honest. They've never really appealed to me. I guess each to their own. I suppose. I'd say I can't can't pull them. I, can't, I don't use them, so I'm not going to sit here and you know slag them off. But yeah, for me, I'm, they just, I don't know. They just don't appeal to me for for some reason. Um, but yeah, not to say that they, uh, not to say that they aren't decent alarms because they, they probably are, but yeah, not, not for me personally. But, uh, yeah, I can't fault me ATC, can't, um, fault me ATTs. Pepper Spoon, hello, buddy. Don't know if, don't know if I've seen your, uh, username before, but thank you for joining anyway. I use ATTs too. Good man, good man. Yeah, I can't fault mine. Cool little alarms do the job. Nice little receiver. Just I, I'm quite minimal to be fair in my setup. I uh, quite minimal in my setup. I don't like too much bulk or this or that. They're small, you know. They don't take up much space. Nothing to them. They're waterproof. You know, they do they do the job. They do what I need them to do. Uh, Carp King, next out on Star Wars Day for 72 hours. I've absolutely no one's no, I, I've not absolutely no idea when Star Wars is. Absolutely hate Star Wars. Oh, I couldn't think of anything else worse than Star Wars. Um, so yeah, I've absolutely no idea when Star Wars Day is even, mate, to be honest. But anyway, Carp King, where are you going? Where are you heading, bud? They are good. It would be strange if everybody had the same alarm. Yeah, exactly. Like, every. But like I've got all my own personal preferences to mic it and why I choose it and why I use it. It's going to be different from the next person, the next person, the next person, the next person. Everybody, uh, you know, everybody has their own uh, favorite preference on how they want their setup, what they need it for. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see now, Carp King. I see. Cringy. I hate Star Wars. I absolutely hate Star Wars. Literally, like my ex-girlfriend and her little boy, literally love Star Wars, and I couldn't think of anything worse. I think I've seen like more Star Wars in the like two years that I was with her than I've ever seen in the thirty-three years that I've been alive. I absolutely hate it. I can't stand it. I think the best part about Star Wars was Star Wars, the Lego ones, like the, the Lego Star Wars. I think that's about as far as I'll go to think that, to say, like, actually, they weren't too bad. But the rest, which is Star Wars in general, Jesus Christ, <sighs> hate it. Joe Brown, Chris, seen your mate Simon the other day up north, up north, Cheshire, top bloke. Graham Kirkbride uses a Dalkin TXI. You see, I had Dalkins, but just the real basic ones. What are they? The EVs or EV pluses or something? I had them before. Couldn't really fault them. They're a bit of a pain in the backside when it uh, rained quite heavily. But um, but yeah, apart from that, couldn't fault them really. Again, they're just a little bit bulky, but still top-notch alarms. 
Matthew Perry, you can't watch you anymore if you don't like Star Wars. Oh, mate, you... Oh, to be fair. Sorry, mate, I can't... Star Wars is just... I've just not got the, like... The, my imagination is just so limited on stuff like that. Uh, I just don't... I can't deal with it. Not anymore, where I think it was, like, rammed down my throat all the time. I couldn't... Yeah, it's just, like... Like, admittedly, I know more about Star Wars now than what I ever knew. But I still absolutely hate it. Rachel Armstrong, hi fella. Off to France first time. Uh, any tip for Lee Armstrong? Um, stick to what you know best, mate. End of the day, they're fish, just like any other fish that swim around here. Probably more, uh, probably more hungry than uh, our fish. More pig, you know, more of a pig's. They eat more, they want more, they're just born to just get bigger and bigger, you know, they're just bred to get bigger, 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 bigger. Um, just stick to what you know, mate. Don't go, don't go in like gung ho. Um, ease yourself into the session, depending on obviously how long you're going for. Um, yeah, I, I, when I went to France for the first time, what was last year or the year before, can't remember now, but I just approached it like I would have set, you know, a session here, like ease yourself into the session. Do what you know works, and um, obviously just keep your eyes open if you can if you can move around the lake. But yeah, don't feel like you have to change anything. If anything, just take a bit more bait than you normally would, I guess, on a session in England. But yeah, I didn't change anything, mate. If I'm honest, go what you're confident in: sharp rigs, big hooks, strong tackle, and a load of bait, and the rest should really fall into place, mate. To be honest. Christian Hughes, how have you found the new range of bait tech this year? Um, yeah, I can't fault it, mate, to be honest. Like, I only use, like, quite a select amount of their stuff, like, because I've been quite picky in what I want to use and what I want to use it for. The Triple M Boily, I can't fault it in the slightest. Um, that whole Triple M range, can't fault it. Absolutely love it. Um, obviously, I've always said I'm an avid fan of nut-based baits, so, yeah, that really falls in line to the sort of bait that I want to use. Um can't fault any of their pellets for their solid bag use absolutely perfect um love their love their range of oils that i use to you know the hemp from the hemp oil to the hot chili oil to the um you know the nutty oil there's there's pva friendly oils to you know go with anything that i want to go with and uh they're like i say they're perfect for my solid bag use um Again, I can't fault the juice dumbbells that I use a lot for my solid bag work. They're perfect size, the 10mm ones. Um, yeah, there's so much so much stuff that I, I actually use that is, you know, I can rant and rave about. But obviously, you see it in my videos anyway, what I use to approach different venues and stuff like that. And yeah, I can't really fault any of it, if I'm completely honest with you. Can't fault it at all. Um, I was planning on going to Lynch Hill, but I think I may be going to Blue Bow Lakes now. Nice one, Carp King. Nice one. I'm guessing you're blogging it as well. Mike Signs, great blog. Keep it going. Cheers, Mike. Nice one. Glad you uh, enjoy watching the video. So I'd say one, my uh, Martin's movements from April will be out sort of in the next week or so. Going to try and get that uh, get that put together in the next couple of days after um, tomorrow's session so yeah that'll all be uh, compiled and put together and put up online in the next week or so so keep an eye on that that'll be my last of my last couple of weeks of it you know first lot of overnighters i've done for work in, in between work uh matthew looks like you're going to get blocked from the channel any any minute if you carry on with that star wars rubbish Carp Wars, Return of the Cod, always sounds better to me. I'll make anything other than bloody Star Wars. You know, I can't deal with it. Just don't get it myself. And obviously all these people that go to these uh, events and all this, oh, what? You know, people probably think I'm crazy for liking fishing so much and stuff like that, but still, at least it's real life. Do you know what I mean? We are Les Souls 2, Angus Full Lake. Thanks, pal. Okay, bud. Well, yeah, if, you, if it's a full lake, personally, um, just just ease into it gently, mate, and uh, just keep your eyes peeled for any, you know, any signs of activity and wherever you manage to drop into. Keep your eyes peeled. Go into the uh, go into the wheat slowly. 
don't go plowing it all in straight away and just yeah like i say just keep your spots going top them up regularly and uh big hooks strong tackle and the rest hopefully mate fall into luck pop back in to the room next time um next time you're online after your session let me know how you got on mate it'd be interesting to know how uh how we got on what what bait are you taking um out of interest how what, what bait are you taking to france Mike Symes, do you use black tigers? I don't, buddy. No, I just use the uh, the bait tech tigers that are in the uh, the chili, the chili tigers. So they've got a load of chili flake and I've been in the can. Um, you know, really, pre- they're already prepared, fresh, um, cool lids, so you can take them on the bank, get them, and you know, keep them nice and fresh. But yeah, no, I don't use the black tigers. I use the normal tigers. I crush a load up in the crusher. Obviously, it's got all the chili flakes and that in there, so it's taking on a load of that heat from the chili and stuff like that. So, and I used to use them ages ago, even before I was sponsored by Bait Tech and uh, with their hemp and their tigers. So, uh, so yeah, I don't use the black ones. I just use the normal tigers, mate. Lee Andrews, hello, mate. How's you? Yep, I'm good, thanks, buddy. What about yourself? Just on a uh, night off from the overnighters tonight, Lee Andrews. So, uh, so yeah, just chilling out at home, mate. We'll have to put you on after this, get some grub early night and uh, finish off sorting out my bits and pieces ready for the next uh, next session tomorrow night. Like I say, I've had a bait delivery today. I'm not sure you get that put away, make everything tidy for the weekend, really. P. Grimmer, best bait. Oh, wow, no, that's opening up a can of worms. That could be, you know, best bait could be absolutely anything. Um, is there a best bait? Who knows? Officially, anything want they to be fair. Joe Brown, congrats on the 40 pound Carp King Whacker. Yeah, no nice session that was Carp King. Nice end to his syndicate sessions or in unfortunate circumstances, but a uh, nice way to finish off a session. And I'm definitely hoping that'll, uh, that I'll have a nice roundup to my um, end of my syndicate as well sometime next month. Um, I'm going to hopefully get out for 48 hours and, like I say, a good. A last goodbye session, really. So we'll see what happens, I suppose. John Boyd, evening, mate. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining in the room. Hope all you guys have uh, been appreciating this bit of warm weather we've had recently as well. Using their bait, squid orange. That's always a good shout, mate. If they, you've got their own bait that you know that goes into the lake and uh, is regularly fed, um, then uh then yeah it's always a good one even if you take even if you do take a bit of your own it's always good to incorporate it incorporate that into your mix as well just something that they might see as a you know a natural food source something they get a lot of free bait off and uh something that might just you know draw them into your draw them into your swim uh christian hughes are you up for a basic social in the coming months 100 percent, mate i'm always up for a social i'm always up for meeting new people fishing new places you know i get the buzz off it and, you know, the week before, day before, I'm always up for meeting. I've seen meeting with like-minded anglers. Just want to get out, have a good laugh, enjoy the fishing, help one another out, share ideas, this, that, and the other. And, uh, and yeah, you know, all up for that, buddy. So definitely, if you're on Facebook, mate, just uh, ping me a message or ping a post up and I'll um, happily, happily get involved with availability and stuff like that for sure. Love your videos, mate. Keep it up, pal. Thanks, buddy. It is appreciated. Like I said, I don't really do them for myself. Well, I do them for myself for a point. It's nice to keep myself occupied on the bank. And I do it more for sharing the experiences for myself to look back on videos and stuff like that and remind myself of sessions with friends and stuff like that. And like I said, it's nice to share my 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 thinking and how I approach my fishing and stuff with you guys and hopefully share any knowledge or you know tips along the way and i don't know just how i approach different venues and anything you can take anything you can take from the videos as a bonus really if it's just good entertainment on a friday night after a crap week at work and you've got your feet up with a beer then that's sweet by me but yeah i'll try and keep them up and i'll try and keep them coming your way guys as much as i can mike signs where is with uh I don't know what that means, Mike. You might have to rephrase that, buddy. John Boyd, yeah, not too bad, mate. Fishing, not going well. Lost four already this month out of two sessions. Oh, man, what's going on, Joyd? Uh, Joyd? Mixture of first name and surname. What's going on, John? 
how comes you're losing them? Did you manage to figure out why or what what setup are you using? What what rigs are you using? What's your what's your application to to the uh, the approach in your sessions? See if we can figure out what may or may not be going wrong. Or you might have even figured it out yourself, but yeah, what's what's happening, mate? Um, I am debate. I am on the bait tech social page with you. I've been to the bait tech for two years. Nice one, Christian. Yeah, get something going, mate, in the uh, in the page, and um, and yeah, definitely we'll uh, see if we can organise something, even if it's just a handful of us and stuff like that. Mike Simon, sorry, tablet playing up. Where's the cart dog? He's been lazy. He was here earlier. He's asleep. I took him out for well over an hour earlier, and uh, we managed to beat the rain because I had a load of chores to do around the flat, and obviously get get this live stream set up as well so uh yeah he's uh he's having a little nap i think he's waiting for his dinner to be honest he's probably meant to have had it a little while ago but i'm going to give him some of my grub as well just as a little treat mix it up on his biscuits and that it's always nice so yeah he's going to get a little bit of an extra bonus this 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 uh tonight for uh his dinner so yeah he's probably grumpy because he's hungry uh, when am I back out? I'm going to go back out tomorrow, Ken, after I've been around and seen my dad. Wednesday is my dad's day. I'll go around, I'll see him, I'll have, have some food and stuff, hash it with him for a few hours. So uh, his house is pretty much on the way to the uh, on the way to the lake, so I'll chuck everything back in the car tomorrow morning. And um, yeah, I'll go around, go back down to the lake um, after his. Um, hopefully I can get back in, maybe back into the same same swim. If not, I might go back to the original lake that I lost the first lost the first fish on. I'm not because because fish are coming out of there, but obviously I'm only there overnight, so my chances of catching are obviously pretty limited. Whereas I seem to have something going on this other lake, so I'm kind of a bit undecided where to go. Stick to where I'm getting regular bites at the moment, and something seems to be working and paying off, or go back over to the original lake where more fish seem to be coming out more regularly and run you know run the risk of do i have one don't i have one so it's a bit i'm a bit unsure what to do at the moment stick to what i know is working and get back in the same swim where i seem to be having fish from or go back to the original lake and see if i can get like you know i don't know see if i can get a hit of fish i'm not quite sure what to do but the, the lake that i'm catching from is the harder of the two so something seems to be working for me at the moment so yeah i'm a bit unsure what to do gonna have a little think about it tomorrow i think it work and make Make my decision from there. Luke Cornpool, hi mate. I fished a res last Thursday and had a twenty pound half linear. Wow, nice one, buddy. That sounds banging. I bet that looked absolutely incredible as well, didn't it, Luke? Fair play to you, bud. How, what tactics did you have that on, Luke? Did you? Because I know, um, I know a mate you fished it not that long ago as well, and um, him and six others I think were on. But I don't think much was happening. But uh, yeah, what what did you have it on, bud? Um. I bet that was that warm. Was that warm last Thursday? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really warm last Thursday. So was that a zig off the top or what? How did you have it, mate? John Boyd on a stiff hinge, just simply spitting hooks after five minutes of playing them. Tell you what, mate, that sounds like exactly how I lost that fish last week. Uh, last week, I had a nice, I had a rattler of a take. Like I said, playing it back, playing it back, playing it back, and then literally, you know, I've just lent, got the net. And uh, yeah, literally under the rod tip, and just you know, before I could even think about netting it, the hook just popped out. But obviously, I know that some, like someone did mention that a few of the fish in there got a bit of a you know, bit bad mouths where they've been in there for so long, they've been caught in this, that, and the other. So, wondering if you know that might be something to do with it, maybe it just you know, whether, whether the hook's worked itself free in the battle for so long, how it's been you know, because of how long it's been on for. Um, but I, I know it was one of the better ones, just the take in itself, you know, was a better fish. And, you know, it, it felt decent when I was playing it. There weren't no jaggedness about it. It was just it was just a strong, you know, a strong battle. So uh, I don't know, but it left me choking. But that soon disappeared on Wednesday when I had those uh, two 25-pound, 25-pound plus comment and that 27 mirror. That lost one was a distant memory. But it, still, it does still hurt that I lost that fish. Don't get me wrong, so I hate losing fish. I have lost the fish and I don't know how long so and you never know what that could have been either last week I was fishing with my brother Tom and he had another duck ah oh, you tell him he needs to put something else on the hair other than bread meat because you know 
he needs to uh, sort his sort his hooks out or whatever bait he's using. Because that's getting that's getting low. Catching catching ducks, that's getting desperate time. Pete Grimmer, J Boy, you tried a nice trick link for the stiff hook link. Nails at ninety nine percent. Get on the lake, you feel that gives you the buzz, Martin, and catching. Well, that's the thing, mate. I seem to have something going on at the moment down this one where, uh, you know, I'm catching the fish. So it seems silly to me to move off it when there seems to be a corner of the lake doing me fish. So, um, so yeah, it seems, seems a bit crazy for me. But then, you know, something in the back of my mind is like, get on this other lake just for a quick night up because you haven't been back there since you've had these fish. But then I've only done like two sessions on this place and two sessions on the original first lake. So I don't know, maybe I'm just because I've got like, you know, the choice of both. But I need to just, you know, I think I'm just going to stick to where I'm getting the bites at the moment. And I guess maybe when the bites dry up on this place, maybe then move back over to the other one. But just maybe suck it. You know, I think I'm, I should really just suck it up all the baits, all the bites that I'm getting now. Just milk it for all it's worth. And then maybe if I get one or two blanks. Then maybe get back over the other one, try and get some bites out of that one. When that dries up, jump back on this one. So I'm thinking that's how I might play it, to be honest. Maybe it's a bit, I don't know, maybe it's just a bit stupid of me to even think about moving off it when I'm getting uh, getting bites, to be fair. Kristen Hughes, catch you later, mate. Yeah, nice chat to you. Don't forget to stick a post up of some sort or something, mate. We're trying to sort something out. Mike Simon's tight lines, mate. Keep safe out there. Good night. Thanks, buddy. Will do. Got the carp dog looking after me. He always keeps me safe. So yeah, nice one, buddy. You too, and anybody else that is thinking about leaving the room in the next five minutes, ten minutes or so. I hope you all have a good weekend, and uh, you all have good sessions if you're due out anytime soon. Luke Cornforth, it was mid mate. I went out to college with just a six foot sawn off a fish on the concrete slope in a three foot of water. Citrus pop up with some crumb citrus. Fair play, mate. Nice one. Fair play. I bet that looks absolutely banging. So yeah, I'm chuffed for you, mate. I need to, uh, I need to, um, I need to get back down there myself ASAP. To be fair, now that this weather's picking back up, Pepper Spoon, alright, man. I've got to tune out for a bit and sleep. I'll check out the streams another day. Nice one. Cheers, Pepper Spoon. Thanks for joining in, mate. Oh, I tell you what, I'm getting a numb bum sat down here. Oh, but yeah. Thanks for joining in, Pepper Spoon. Take care. Enjoy the videos as and when you watch them. God, this hour's gone quick. I uh, need to get the footy on as well, I think. Hopefully we can do the uh, do the damage tonight. Anybody else watching the footy? What do you reckon? What do you reckon the uh, score's going to be? Who do you reckon's going to be in the final? Got 30 in the room. and Let's see what you uh, got to say on the old football front. Myself, I'm a Liverpool man. Liverpool supporter, so I'm hoping I won't, you know, I won't mind getting, uh, won't mind getting uh, Madrid in the final. Hopefully, um, make Ronaldo cry again. Liverpool two one. Right, guys, I'm off. Chat next time, mate. Well, cheers, all. Cheers, True Cart Review. Thanks for joining in, bud. Liverpool all the way. Good man, John Boyd. Matthew Perry. Got a bit of a big day tomorrow, out fishing in the morning and out for dinner, then going to watch the new Avenger at 12. Lots going on tomorrow then, Matt. Good luck if you manage to bag one in the morning. Here we go, Carp King. Can't stand football, couldn't even tell you who's playing. Carp King, get on Facebook, mate, and start winding a few people up because that always gets a few people's backs up when you start putting out football posts and it makes me laugh. You get... I tell you what, you certainly get a lot of bites uh, on the Facebook posts with uh, with football bands, buddy. Get it up there. Get something up there. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Well, uh, Luke Cornforth, I also saw one of the big comments and it made my heart skip a beat. Thing is, mate, I don't really know too much about the stock or anything like that. I just know that I've seen like you know pictures of of the uh, mirrors and stuff like that that reside in there. So I don't even know how big commons are and stuff like that. So any information that you want to share with me, feel free. Don't expect you to if you don't want to. But yeah, I can imagine if you've seen something, I've seen a lump in there, then uh, yeah, I can imagine your heart dropped out your backside, to be honest, because it's, uh, it would do the same to me as well. Ken Skingley, West Ham fan myself. Dear, oh dear. Or just uh, tune in tonight, mate, and we'll show you a real game of football. You know, 
might even you know might even convert you mate to be fair can't even believe it's like five to eight already it's madness last hour was just gone need to whack my dinner on give the flat a bit of a polish get my gear sorted for tomorrow night and uh kick back and chill i think rewind the batteries my eyes are looking tired when i'm watching myself back on this video looking a bit uh looking a bit bagged on the eyes a bit bloody panda eyed i actually used to like football when i was a kid before the foreigners came in and ruined it oh here we go bloody foreigners a eh? cow king anyway put a post out for any regardless anyway cow king but uh but yeah i'm sure you'll get a few bites on that ken skingley you know it makes sense buddy you know it makes sense Bluebell and Peterborough, yeah, I think that's the one that Carp King's going to. Who you going there with anyway, Carp King? Anyone in anyone in particular, the usual crew? New 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 people or what? Oh tell you what, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I am gonna sleep well tonight. We need to do another we need to do another live stream again, Carp King, I reckon. We uh we had a good crack on that last one, didn't we? This time it's not going to be two and a half bloody hours, though, to be fair. <clears throat> Hopefully, we'll do some more weathering. I had a bit of a uh, floater, uh, floater base um, delivered today. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll get some more sunshine soon. So I won't mind getting out and giving some uh, floater stuff a go. Because I didn't get out when it was really, really sunny. I went in. Um, went and uh, enjoyed it with uh, your loved ones and stuff like that so yeah I didn't really get out and uh, do any floater fishing but I'm looking forward to the uh, the next lot of sun that we get so I'll definitely be making the most of that. Uh, Luke there's two or three commons that go 30 but they very rarely get caught mate also a few other 20 fully scaled nice 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 that's getting the juices flowing and getting me thinking already See you next Tuesday, Martin. Have a good one. Good, safe week. Cheers, buddy. Next Tuesday, might even be, I will we'll probably be back out on the bank, mate. So it'll probably be a live one from the bank. So uh, I'll look forward to that. So I really enjoyed that last one, that last one from uh, on the bank. So hopefully, mate, batteries will be recharged. And uh, yeah, next week will be one live streaming from the bank again. Cheers for joining in, though, Lip Hook Harper, as always. Cheers for your input and stuff. Top man. John Boyd, do you have fish water side in Cheshire and Buckinghamshire? No, I haven't, mate. Can't say I've ever heard of it either. But uh, I always get asked, well, you know, have I fished this, have I fished that? Um, well, there are so many bloody lakes here, there, and everywhere. I'm not as, I'm not as travelled as the Carp King. Um, once I get my teeth stuck into somewhere, I tend to um, keep at it. But this year, like I say, now that this weather's getting loaded, but I'm definitely hoping to, uh, hoping to um, get out more, get out and about. And uh, make the most of um, make the most of sessions and stuff like that. I will definitely look it up tomorrow, mate. At uh, at work, I'll have a look on there. I'm guessing they got a website or a Facebook page. Either way, I'll find it. I'm sure. But yes, mate. I'll have a look and check it out. Definitely. I'm always on the lookout for new venues. You never know where you might, you know, where you might arrive at some point in the year and be looking for a water, you know, in the area of wherever you might be. So yeah, I'll definitely have a look at it, mate. Limbrook Martin. Yeah, I'm waiting to hear back from the guys at Limbrook. They were meant to be uh, letting me know about some availability and stuff down there, and uh, maybe a, a 48 hour session. So, uh, so yeah, who knows? On the uh, just on a common 49. Oh, Jesus Christ, I bet that was immaculate, wasn't it? I bet that was a big old golden bar. 49 pound, eh? That's mental. Ken Skingley, gonna watch Liverpool lose, mate. Right, that's it, you're blocked. Take it easy, mate. Enjoy your week. Take care. And, uh, have a good weekend. Luke, take it easy, mate. Speak to you soon, buddy. Nice one on that carp. Here's my guy. Gonna shoot birds, shave, shower, and a shit, and all that. Great live feed. Next, look forward to your next picture of fish on Twitter from your next trip. Cheers, bud. Hopefully, that'll be tomorrow night, mate, to be honest. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for joining in. I'm gonna get off now. I need to get my dinner on. And uh, get the footy on, and uh, watch us get one foot in the uh, in the final.
Again, thanks to everyone for tuning in. I will catch up with you guys next week. If you're on the bank, get my session over with tomorrow and I'll get a video. I'll get the video up and uh, up and done ASAP. And uh, hopefully you can, um, you know, you can watch out and see my latest travels and stuff of the uh, overnighters that I've been doing, the effort that I've been putting in. So good night all. Enjoy your evenings. Take care. Stay safe. Enjoy your fishing. Hope you manage to bag one if you're out. And uh, yeah, cheers, guys. And uh, I will speak to you very, very soon. Good night, always.